Isa sa mga well-preserved ancestral house na makikita dito sa Bayan ng Jimenez ay ang Casa Residencia Herencia de Bacaro, Tacan. At ito ay pag-aari ng mag-asawang Rosito Zeya Bacaro at unang asawa na si Arsenia Tacan. Ang bahay ay itinayo taong 1914 na may Victorian-inspired art deco. Ang nagmamay-ari ng bahay na ito ngayon ay si Mr. Aldren Takan Nasyon, na kamag-anak ng unang asawa ni Rosito na si Arsenia Takan, and currently administered by the Philippine Cultural Heritage Research and Development Foundation. At nilaunch nila ito noong October 2023 as a Casa Residencia Herencia de Bacaro, Takan. And alam nyo ba na sa bahay na ito kinunan ang adult movie film na pinagbidahan ni Nagardo Versosa at Aya Midel na pinamagatang Bawal ng Regal Home Video Productions and directed by Cesar Evangelista. Kelly, kapasok tayo sa loob. So, ito yung silong ng bahay. Yeah. Okay, so nandito tayo mismo sa pinaka-silong ng bahay. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, talagang silong lang ito noong araw. Ano? Wala dito yung main staircase. Nasa labas. Ayan. So sir, explain mo muna sir, what's this ano, uh, silong before? But in the case of the uh, Bacaro Ancestral House, since he was not actually a farmer, he, he didn't have any farm during that time, he was he had actually a business called a printing press during that time. Ah. The whole floor was utilized as a printing press. Oh really? during the American occupation. Oh, oh. And it is, again, it's very important to mention that Rosito Bacaro, okay, being the owner of Bacaro Printing Press, he was the one that was commissioned by General Douglas MacArthur through Sergeant Wilson to print the Misamis Occidental Emergency Circulating Note and some of the Mindanao Emergency Notes in this area. But later, since the, the Japanese occupied this place, okay, they had to vacate, they had to vacate this place, bring along with them the printing press in Barangay Matugas where they continue the printing. The printing. The right now, we are utilizing this as a heritage restaurant. Heritage restaurant. Okay. Heritage restaurant. Uh, nice place, sir, and mm. <clears throat> Ang galing ng pagkaka-preserve yes. ng structure. Everything is original including the accordion doors. Ah, oh, talaga? Yes. Everything original is lahat original. yan. Oh, wow. Okay. Including the wooden post. Except that uh, we have to repaint it in order uh -oh. to make it more beautiful and attractive. Uh, yes. Now, sir. originally, the floor is made of uh, ordinary cement. Okay. Ordinary cement. However, Uh, after a few years, there has been diggings that were made in this uh, ah, in the, in the silo uh -oh. because many thought that uh, treasures were buried here during the Japanese occupation. Uh, since we are utilizing it as a uh, a restaurant, we had to make it more attractive, more beautiful, and uh, we have to uh, put some put some. Uh -oh. So, nung nag-dig po ba sila dito sa sa sahig, may nakuha po ba? Uh, not on this part, but oh. according to the neighbors, outside. Oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, may nakuha the sila. The thing is that uh, those uh, laborers who were commissioned to, to dig, mm. they left. They, they le suddenly left on the dawn time. 
Oh. And then, uh, hindi na nagpakita. Hindi na nagpakita. <laughs> so, they are made to understand na meron talagang nadala. Oh. For sure yun, ikaw ba naman biglang naglaho, sir, no? Oo. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. So, itong structural design ng bahay, sir, is a Victorian-inspired art deco. Yes. No? At itina yun, 1914. 1914 po. So, it's Ju more than 100 years. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, actually, this year, it's already 110 years old. 110 years old. Wow. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, welcome to Casa Herencia Residencia de Macaro, Tacan. We are in this beautiful and wonderful place, an ancestral home of the late Rosito Zia Macaro in Jimenez, Misamis Occidental. As we enter the house, we knock on the door because during the time, there was no electricity yet. So, there was no electric buzzer or any form of... Uh, uh, allowing people inside to know that we are we are here outside so we just have to use this knocker okay <laughs> so as the door is open for us we are now ready to enter this this place okay so alika get na tayo So, pagpasok natin dito mula sa hagdan, ang makikita natin ay ang antesala na tinatawag. So, noong araw daw, kapag sinabing antesala, eto daw yung sala para sa mga nasa very important people na bisita ng dating ng mga nakatira sa bahay. Pero, kapag very important yung kanilang bisita, dinadala nila sa sala mayor. So, ito yung sala mayor. Hi, sir. Pwede ba? One of the most important thing that you can find in an ancestral house, in a comedor, is the so-called punka. 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 Okay? Actually, the idea came from India. Oh, from India. From India. And because of uh, intercultural influences or cultures brought uh, uh, from one place to another, it was also influenced or in Europe. And then our colonizers, the, the, the Spaniards in the last quarter of the 19th century, as well as the early Americans that came, they introduced this. Oh. Okay? Since during that time, there was no air conditioning, there was no electricity, there was no aircon, there was no ventilation. All they have to do while the members of the family would eat is to have a muchacha operate the punka okay all she has to do is to stand stand here and to pull okay so that there is air in order to drive the flies away and to make the guest or the family members comfortable oh, oh, yeah you can feel it sir meron pong uh, hangin okay oh nga interesting ito no so, yeah. hindi pa tayo nakakita ng ganito sa mga bahay na napuntahan natin. Yes. First time. Many of the pungkas were already Punka. removed because there's already ventilation. Ventilation. Meron na pong uh, air conditioning or if not, meron na pong mga ventilador. Mm -hmm.
mariposa sofa ang tawag sa ganito kasi pa curve siya yung ba yung dahilan o oh, pero made of ano siya oh sulihiya pati sa ilalim sulihiya oh nga kapag batangas uno yung ganyan ganito yung design tapos kapag batangas dos ah ganito na siya Batangas 2 na disenyo. Ito naman Batangas 1. Hmm. So, gawa siya sa Batangas, siyempre. And by the way, this is the picture of Rosito Zeya Bacaro, the original owner of this house. He was married to Arsenia Takal. Okay. This is his first wife, Arsenia Takal. First wife. First wife, Arsenia Takal, who is actually a resident of Jimenez, Misamis Occidental. Mr. Rosito Bacaro hails from Taguluan, Misamis Oriental, on the other, on the other side of Mindanao, but still part of the northern Mindanao. So they were actually childless. However, uh, Arsenia Takal died at an early age sometime in the 1920s because going back to the time there was uh, she died actually of tuberculosis 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 was rampant during the time so it's like cancer today that uh, when you have tuberculosis you are destined to die yeah okay it was not curable yet at the time uh -huh. now on this side on this part you might uh, ask what are these these are prensa to iron clothes, to iron our um, linens, okay? So, they come actually in different sizes. The big ones were used to iron uh, curtains, especially uh, curtains in the, uh, in the church. The smaller ones are used for paldas, for shirts. And we have here the <laughs> tiny ones, the smallest. okay? Probably for the color. And for underwears. Okay. What is the best thing that for for uh, children today should know? During the time, they were able to make it using uh, prinza to iron clothes. Today, we have electric iron. But we seem to complain. Totoo. We seem to complain. Yeah. The best thing to appreciate what we have today is to bring ourselves back to the past and to learn what was the kind of life, what was the quality of life that our ancestors were having during that time. It was not easy. And no one of us will ever experience that today if that is the kind of life that we are going to have. We have the so-called gramophone that was uh, made sometime in 1890s or 1895, turn of the century. It is a very important entertainment in the house. Aside from the piano that they had, they had the so-called gramophone. We are going to place this here. And then, since there was no electricity yet during that time, there was no internet, everything is mechanical. So we have to turn this. And then once it's full, we are going to release this lever. And then we are going to attach this. They have the piano. They have the gramophone. Sometimes if a member of the family or an invited friend knows how to play the, the harp, then they have the singing, the dancing in this floor. And they are all happy during the time. Unlike that we have today, we have an interrupted supply of music. We can do everything we want. We have the band. We have the YouTube. We have everything. But then, at that time, that was the best that they can have. So, the very reason why we are uh, putting this and making it available for people to see is for us to appreciate what we have today. We have here an aparador. Okay, an aparador. Puyat Aparador. Oh, this is Puyat. Yes, Puyat Aparador. So, so my initial. So. My initial. This is of the wife, Arsenia. 
Arsenia Tahan. Okay? And as you can see, one of the common characteristics that makes it uh, antique is the mirror. And if you try to look at it very closely, the mirror is beveled. Okay? No, my, uh, it has some my damage. Corner. Parang my okay. corner siya. Parang my corner yeah. siya. Opo. And you can see the handle is made of glass. Mm. Mm. The lock, sir, no? Yes, even yeah. the lock. But unfortunately, we don't have the key anymore. The key anymore. Maybe it was lost oh. or uh, gone. So, gusto kong pasalamatan ang lahat ng bumubuo ng Philippine Cultural Heritage Research and Development Foundation, ang may-ari ng Bakaro Takan Ancestral House na si Mr. Aldrin Takan Nasyon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Si Mr. Romeo Jose Palma at si Mr. Michael Amores. And maraming maraming salamat po kasi dinala nyo ang senaryo kay Jubero dito sa Misamis Occidental. Ayan. So dito muna tayo sa isang kwarto. Grabe no ang galing ng pagkaka-preserve nila sa bahay na ito, ano? Ayan. So napakaganda. Okay. So ayan, peace sa inyong lahat. <laughs> so sino sa inyo ang nakapanood sa live natin sa Facebook nung nagkaroon ng brownout? Actually, nandito ako sa room na ito nung nakalive ako na yun. Ayan, so sino sa inyo ang nakapanood? Ayan. Okay, so ito naman, Chinese baol. Grabe, napaka-detalyado ng pagkakaukit ng baol na ito, no? Ayan. Grabe ang ingay, no? Pasensya na kayo, ah. <laughs> Ayan. So, ongoing pa rin yung pagsasaayos nila dito sa bahay na ito. And uh, gaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, ni-launch ito noong October 2023. And ito ay magiging isang heritage restaurant. And eventually, ito ay magiging bed and breakfast dito sa Bayan ng Jimenez. Ayan. So ito parang ito yung prayer room nila nung araw ano. Ayan. So doon naman tayo sa kabilang kwarto. Check din natin. Okay, so another bedroom. Mga kay Jubero. So natatandaan ko noong araw, hindi naman noong araw, mga noong 1980s, meron kaming ganito, almaryo ang tawag. Lagay ng mga unan, no? Diba? Pero ngayon wala na. Dito na ulit tayo sa Sala Mayor. Ang 
di ba? Sinong gusto mong tawagan? Mamili ka na lang kung anong year kasi sasagutin ka nila. Joke lang. <laughs> di ba sa kanila? Bye. Bye.